Hello, dear. You're welcome to Design Slider Tech. If you're having a password or PIN login issue, or if you've forgotten your login password, I will be showing you how to reset your local password on Windows 10 or Windows 11 devices without using any software. However, if your login is connected to a Microsoft account, the method in this video may or may not work for you. Those with Microsoft tied to their login will need to fix the issue through the Microsoft Store or through Microsoft.com or contact Microsoft Support. The steps shown in this video are for personal account login. So let's jump on it. We need to press and hold the left shift key on your keyboard, come to the bottom right hand corner, click on power options and choose restart. Keep on holding the left shift key until you see the blue screen, which you'll see shortly. Now you can release the shift key. From the boot options, click troubleshoot and then go into advanced options and then go into the command prompt. Now at this point, we want to find our Windows installation on our C drive. Your Windows may or may not be on the C drive, so you can try typing C colon sign and press Enter key, then type DIR and press Enter key. In my case, I'm on the right track. Here is my Windows directory. But if yours is not in the C drive, you can just try other drive letters. Let's say you type D colon and enter key. Then type DIR, enter key, and see if you can find your Windows. Basically, check through your drive letters to find your exact Windows drive directory. For me, I have to change back to my Windows and C drive. I type C colon and enter. Then I type DIR, enter key. My Windows is there, so type CD space Windows and enter. So that's going to change into our Windows directory. And the actual folder we need from there is the system 32. So type CD space system 32 and press enter. And this is now in the right folder of system 32. Guys, be careful in here. Any error you make could be dangerous. So just follow my steps slowly and carefully. So we want to do here is to rename two of the files which Windows uses. As it is now, when you try to log into Windows, you have the option of turning on the accessibility features. So what we're going to do is to change that file name so that it points to the command that we want. Just type ren space utilman.exe. This is to rename the utility manager. So we want to change it to a different file name so it doesn't get disrupted. So we're going to add a space and call it utilman1.exe, and then you can press enter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of trick Windows into running the command line when it's trying to use Utilman. Now to do that, we're going to rename the CMD tool to become the Utilman. Let's type ren space CMD dot exe space Utilman dot exe. Press the enter key. Remember, we've changed the original Utilman to become Utilman 1. So that will allow us to use the name Utilman for CMD. So now let's reboot back into Windows. We type the command exit, press enter. And here select continue into Windows. At this point, this may or may not work for the first time. So you may need to reboot or restart your computer manually. So now we're at our login screen. Click anywhere on the screen and go down to the bottom right-hand corner where you can see the accessibility logo. Click on that, and instead of bringing up the accessibility screen, it now brings up our command prompt, which gives us access to reset our personal password. Now to do that, type control space user passwords two, user passwords two as one word, and then press enter. And there we go. And now we can see our user accounts window and you would see all your usernames on the computer and the permissions as either users or admin. Select the account user and come down here to select reset password. Now, if you don't want to use any password for now, you can leave new password as empty and just click okay. 
But if you still want to secure your device with a password, then put a new one that you're sure you will always remember. For me, I'll put ABC12, and I confirm ABC12. Give it OK, and OK down here. Close the command prompt box. Now on the login screen, if you have just set a new password, put it here now to enter your computer. And if you did not use any new password, then there's nothing to put in here. Just click on this arrow and welcome to your Windows. Hey guys, wait, we're not done. Remember, we renamed Utilman and CMD. Now we have to go back and rename those files to their original names as they were. So what we're going to do is press and hold the left shift key while we click on the Windows icon and power button and select restart. Keep on holding the left shift key until the blue screen appears. And there we go. So select troubleshoot again and advanced options into the command prompt. Like we did before, find your Windows directory. It's C drive for me. So I type C colon and enter key. Then type DIR, enter key, just to make sure we're in the right place. And yes, we can see there is our Windows folder. Next type CD space Windows, hit enter key. CD space system 32 and press enter. So we're going to type REN space utilman.exe space cmd.exe. This means renaming utilman to cmd because that is what it was originally. Press enter. And then we correct the second file's name. Type ren space utilman one dot exe space utilman dot exe. Press enter. And we're done with the file name corrections. So now we can type exit, press enter key, and click continue back into Windows, and everything should work as normal. Now you may want to support this channel by using the super thanks button if that's okay with you. Also like and share this video so that YouTube will know the video is good. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you in my next video.